Hello everybody! Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by at Gray's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Odd 13 Brewing. And this is a collaboration beer uh, done with a couple different breweries. Uh, this is a double IPA, 8.25%, uh, yep, that's what's on the can. And ADIBUs according to Untapped. And right on the corner it says canned on 07 14 17. And today is the 26th. So uh, 12 days old. 12 days old in the can. This is sent to me by Jeff. Thanks a bunch, Jeff. I do appreciate it, sir. You know, you guys can get these super fresh beers. Uh, uh, I envy you. Uh, very nice. Uh, commercial description on Untapped has it as robot. Robot Librarian is a collaborative double IPA brewed with our dear friends from Cerebral Brewing, Fiction Beer Company, and Weld Works Brewing. As a group of like-minded producers of IPA, we decided it would be fun to take notes from one another and brew something that was influenced by all of the participants. The result is a deliciously drinkable New England style. Maybe we got a juice bomb here. Double IPA that has a thick body and is full of juicy hop character. And the pictures on Untapped look impressive. Definitely looks like an unfiltered New England style juice bomb. So, uh, that's all we need to talk about. We got the ABV, we got the Candon date, we got the IBUs. So, let's pop the top on this thing and get it into the glass. down the center here. Cuisine is barbecue cheese of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses. Uh, the meat is game, grilled meat, and salmon. Glass for our snifter, tulip oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter, the solvent beer glass today, guys. Little bit of stuff in the bottom of the can coming out. It says here, on great beer, I mean a beer advocate, uh, since it's 8.2%, they say you can sell it. Don't do it, guys. Drink it fresh. About a quarter finger of head on that pour, and that looks just like orange juice in the glass, guys. Absolutely no light coming through it. Looks like a glass of breakfast orange juice. Very, very nice. Awesome color. That looks very delicious, guys. Let's get a nose on it. Hops are off the chain, guys. Pine, pineapple, grapefruit, mango, oranges, peaches. Wow. The aroma is off the chain, guys. Unbelievable. Outstanding aroma. Wow. I'm drooling this time. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeff. Oh, these, these juice bombs have ruined my palate. Awesome. Absolutely freaking awesome. Everything that I told you on the nose is in the taste. Super juicy. All the fruitiness that you want. The pineapple and grapefruit and oranges and mango. Now it is 80 IBUs so, and it's a double IPA. So uh, I've seen double IPAs over 100 IBUs. So for a double IPA, 80 IBUs, I've seen single IPAs. 
that had more IBUs than that. So seems to be fairly well balanced, but there is a little bit of the bitterness on the back end. Nothing you can't handle though. Wow. Before I was introduced to these New England styles, or juice bombs as we're calling them, if you just set this down on the breakfast table, I would have, I would have swore. Is this orange juice? Only with the, the bitterness from the hops gives it away, but it's like you've taken orange juice, poured a half a glass of orange juice and a half a glass of sweetened grapefruit juice and put it in there. Or maybe even unsweetened grapefruit juice to make up the difference for the bitterness that there, that's in the back end of this. Absolutely delicious, guys. Well, I'm going to sip on it for a little while. I might give her a sip. We'll see. I don't know. I get kind of stingy on these juice bombs. Shouldn't be that way, should I? No. I'm sure I should get some. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Maybe just one more sweet. This beer is delicious, guys. It's absolutely outstanding. It's a world-class beer. If this, if you're, if this doesn't blow your hair back or your socks off, you don't like this style of beer. You don't like a New England IPA or a juice bomb. Uh, it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, ABV is on here. I don't think they have the IBUs on the can. That'd be the only thing that I could say. But it's a collaboration between Odd uh, Thirteen Cerebral. Fiction and Weld Works. Four different brewers have come together to produce this. You can't go wrong if you got that many head brewers coming together to do something. And they did this exceptionally well, guys. I, I, I think it's outstanding. Awesome aroma. I'll choke. I can't think of a single thing other than having them put the IBUs on the can to, to say it, to make it better. Uh, I don't think it can be done. Excellent collaboration uh, beer from these guys. Uh, it's a 10 for me, guys. It's absolutely outstanding. Uh, I, could, I would drink this every day if I could buy these here. It would be awesome. If so I was doing a beer review, this would be a definite go-to beer that I would pick up. So. Uh, 100. It's, in, it's a 10. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they said 89. I don't know what kind of cracker the monkeys are smoking, but somebody don't like that style. Why would you even buy and review it if you don't like that style to give it an 89? That's absurd. Over to Untapped, they're a little closer. They have it at 4.33. Not the best numbers from them. That's definitely in their A category uh, there. But uh, I could. I can't think of a single reason why I would not give this a 10. Uh, it's outstanding. Uh, if you don't like this beer, you don't like that style, or whatever the case may be, uh, so be it. Don't buy it. Uh, but for a New England style juice bomb, it is outstanding. It is exactly what they wanted it to be. And uh, like I said, I would buy it religiously if I could get it here. So, we got the numbers from everybody. Guys, uh, if you've had this, let me know what you think. And if you see it and you're a hop head and you'd like this style of beer, the orange juice, juice bombs, uh, unfiltered beers, uh, you will not be disappointed with this. It is absolutely fabulous. So, if you've had it, let me know. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.